Howdy, it's been a magical few weeks in Tuscaloosa as the Crimson Tide not only hosted but won the Tuscaloosa Regional, punching their ticket to a Super Regional for the first time since the 2010 season. But make no mistake about it, Bama's not satisfied just to make it this far. They have Omaha on their mind. This Tide team was burning the midnight oil this past week, taking on teams like Nichols, Troy, and Boston College, and rode to winning the Tuscaloosa Regional in three games, going a perfect 3-0. However, they'll now hop on a plane to North Carolina to compete in the Winston-Salem Super Regional as they're set to take on the number one team in all the land, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Wake is the best team in all of college baseball, but don't expect the Crimson Tide to back down from the challenge. We definitely, we definitely care for each other a lot. So, I mean, we believe in each other. I mean, every time somebody goes up to the box, even we were down the other day, like, in the last Senate, we, we fully believed that we were going to come back and win that whole time. The fight and the resilience and the way they can focus and block things out and the way they play together and um, just the way they handled each day has been, um, you know, each day I come to the ballpark and I'm more impressed than I was the day before with this group. Now to the news that took the sports world by storm yesterday morning as the PGA announced that they would combine operations with the Saudi-backed Live Golf Tour to create a new worldwide golf entity. The agreement ends litigation between the two tours while providing a pathway for live golfers to rejoin the PGA Tour. Now, the news doesn't sit right with a handful of PGA Tour golfers that not only stayed loyal to the tour, but actively campaigned against live golf. Golfers such as Rory McIlroy, who left potentially hundreds of millions of dollars on the table in opposition to the Saudi-backed tour. It's hard, to, it's hard for me to not sit up here and feel somewhat like a sacrificial lamb and you know, feeling like I've put myself out there and this is what happens. Again, removing myself from the situation, I see how this is better for the game of golf. There's no denying that. But for me as an individual, yeah, I, there's just going to have to be conversations that are had. It's a massive night over in Uptown this evening as the Birmingham Legion will take on Inter-Miami in the round of eight of the U.S. Open Cup. Now, this will be the second time that an MLS club has traveled to the Magic City in the last month. The Legion took down Charlotte FC 1-0 in the round of 16, a little under two weeks ago. And speaking of Inter-Miami, they have themselves a new striker and maybe the best player in the world. As Lionel Messi today announced that he will join the MLS club in South Florida. He will not be in uniform tonight, unfortunately, for Birmingham fans that wanted to see him play. But nonetheless, a massive announcement and a really great day for soccer here in the United States. He turned down over a billion dollars to play in Saudi Arabia and said, as LeBron James once says, he's taking his talents to South Beach. Yeah. Can you imagine how packed that, oh that stadium it's, would be tonight? There'd be a line be from right. uptown to five points. Yeah, I hear <laughs> a lot of people are going to be there tonight. It's going to be fun. How much did he turn down? Uh, well, I think it was $1.6 billion. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> uh, weather's going to be great out at uh, 